What is the number of desired pools? In a proof-of-work system like Bitcoin, the incentive to participate in the protocol is a block reward. Whoever finds the block gets the reward. You can attempt to find the block yourself and thus collect the entire reward. However, today that just isn't profitable. The difficulty has increased so much in the last years that finding a block by yourself would take years. That's why people join a pool. By adding their computing power to the pool, they increase the pool's chances to find a new block. And if successful, they'll get their cut proportional to their computing power. If the pool doesn't find a block, nobody gets rewarded. This design leads to centralization because the larger the pool is, the more blocks will be found and the more stable the payouts will be. For the individual, it is best to join the largest pool. At the beginning of 2019, only six Bitcoin pools already had over 80% of the whole network computing power. In Cardano's proof of stake system, there is no block reward. All pools receive rewards proportional to their stake. But of course, on average, this will always correlate with the number of blocks they produce. To prevent ending up with only a few large pools in Cardano, they will saturate on a certain amount of stake, causing returns to diminish. Therefore, no matter how great a pool is, once it reaches enough ADA, its desirability will decrease, causing the pool to drop in the wallet listing. How does this work? A constant K is defined in the protocol. It's the number of desired pools. Desired because there is no one that controls how many pools are registered. Cardano is a permissionless system. Everyone is free to join and free to leave. The constant K can be increased in the future, but let's assume it is 1000 for this example. It directly affects two parameters, the saturation point and the maximum reward a pool can get per epic. The saturation point is the amount of ADA that perfectly saturates the pool. It can be calculated by the total amount of staked ADA divided by K. If, for example, there are 24 billion staked ADA and the desired number of pools is 1,000, then pools will saturate when they reach 24 million ADA, no matter how many pools there actually are. Every epic has its reward pot. This pot will be split among all active pools and individual protocol participants according to their stake. No matter how many pools there are, the maximum possible reward one pool can get is reward pot divided by K. If the reward pot for an epic is 1 million ADA and the desired number of pools is 1,000, one pool can only get 1,000 ADA at most, no matter if there are 5 or 1,500 pools in reality. This means the constant K has an indirect impact on the minimum number of pools, because as long as there are fewer pools than K, everyone in the system loses money. People hate losing money, therefore this simple and beautiful mechanism guarantees decentralization and a minimum of K pools. Since there will always be people who think they can create a more successful pool, the actual amount of pools will be even more than the constant K. If you ran a pool, you might have the goal of achieving a perfectly saturated pool as described in the previous examples. This idea should be disregarded. The system is too dynamic for that. Let's imagine the Cardano network has 24 billion total staked ADA. You have put a lot of effort into having a perfectly saturated pool with exactly 24 million ADA. That alone would be a great achievement because you can't prevent or control who participates in your public pool. Now, someone transfers a huge amount, let's say 1 million ADA, to an enterprise address that belongs to an exchange. This transaction reduces the total amount of staked ADA and thus also the point of saturation for all pools. 
All pools that were near or exactly at the saturation point are now suddenly oversaturated. Thank you for watching.